hello everyone so today i am again here for you all uh, with a very uh, important uh, yet very simple topic that we can see in our wards on day to day uh, basis and that's the color of urine see color of urine in itself uh, may appear very easy and simple for all, for all of us but uh, it can indicate a uh, lots of information to us if we know what we are seeing because urine is one of the uh, four excretory pathways of the body like sweat respiration uh, stool as like that it is urine through which uh, body eliminates the toxins so by mere looking many times at the urine itself we can get so many information about the patient's condition so let us start few of the common urine colors that we can see in the wards uh, on daily basis so let us start first with this uh, video where we can see <coughs> clear urine this urine is absolutely clear and it is just uh, transparent uh, like that of water remember such clear urine when we see it can be a normal component but many times excessively clear urine like water indicates that the urine is too dilute and it can be secondary to overhydration it can be because of uh, overuse of diuretics or it can be because of diabetes insipidus so always keep an eye on the color of urine even if it is absolutely uh, crystal clear like in this video just one step above then this is a slightly concentrated urine slightly concentrated urine again uh, is a normal component it is called as the straw colored urine where uh, uh, which is because of the result of urobilinogen which is a, a product breakdown product of heme metabolism it may indicate a normal component or sometimes when the patient is slightly dehydrated above this if we go and see this type of urine which is absolutely brown in color it definitely is not a normal colored urine no one of us would expect our urine to be like this it is because of increased bilirubin commonly because in our country liver disease is very common and this type of brown urine can be because of severe dehydration or it can be because of increased bilirubin due to liver diseases commonly that we see in our wards is alcoholic liver disease because this is a urine of a patient having alcoholic liver disease it is because uh, reduced blood of the reduced blood processing uh, because there is more bilirubin in the urine than the normal it can be because of some tumor or stones causing obstructive jaundice it can be because of uh, some other uh, causes where the amount of bilirubin goes above the normal level so this was a brown colored uh, urine of alcoholic liver disease coming to the next one is uh, hematuria or absolute red colored urine that we can see in this video hematuria is commonly uh, it can be because of uh, uh, infection it can be because of a uh, stone in the kidneys it can be because of uh, some uh, tumor in the uh, uh, urinary tract nephritis many times we should make clear and take proper history from the patient whether she is menstruating if she is a female but the picture that we are seeing in the video is clearly not a in not a urine of a patient with menstruation this is frank hematuria with absolutely red uh, uh, urine and we can see even few amount of uh, red blood cells getting accumulated at the uh, base and i am showing this tube uh, because i just wanted uh, to see whether there are some uh, um, rbc is getting accumulated in the tubes also <clears throat> next video this video is uh, clearly showing that the urine is classically orange in color now we might have uh, learned in kd tripathi or any other pharmac book that anti tuberculosis drug one of the anti tuberculosis drug is a common culprit for causing a uh, bright orange colored urine and that is rifampicin this is a patient this is a patient of uh, tb meningitis admitted under me and uh, he is receiving rifampicin so see how his urine has become absolute uh, bright orange in color so <clears throat> uh, orange uh, colored urine is a common finding 
uh, of patients who are receiving anti tuberculosis drugs uh, commonly rifampicin but remember uh, uh, urine can be reddish orange in uh, after use of certain other drugs like phenazopyridine which is commonly used for uh, pain in urinary tract infection it can also be reddish urine uh, reddish orange urine because of use of some laxatives that can turn the uh, urine reddish orange similarly some of the drugs anti-inflammatory drugs like sulfasalazine phenazopyridine then uh, 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 chemotherapeutic drugs may turn the urine orange in color so that is very important for all of us to know that the urine can be orange not only because of rifampicin but all of these other drugs also also remember urine can be blue urine can be green because of use of some drugs like antidepressants amitriptyline it can cause the urine to be blue or green some painkillers commonly Indomethacin can cause blue or green colored urine. Some anesthetic drugs like propofol can turn the urine blue or green in color. So <clears throat> some uh, some uh, uh, some uh, um, contrast agents used in uh, during scanning processes can cause blue or green urine. And last but not the least, familial hypercalcemia can be associated with uh, blue or green urine. Similarly urine can be cola colored if there is rhabdomyolysis because of any cause like trauma like a snake bite etc uh, heavy exercise a crush injury these all can cause cola colored urine <clears throat> lastly this video that we are now seeing uh, i am trying to concentrate only on the on the tubings of the urinary uh, uh, catheter and the urinary bag because we can clearly see that the urinary tube urinary bag tube has got accumulation of pus in it we can clearly see sediments of pus in the tubes of the urinary uh, urine bag which indicates that this patient does have either cystitis urinary tract infections and commonly this patient was a case of pyronephritis so that pus in the kidney is being drained by by this uh, urinary tract into the urinary bag and we can see sediments of urine or uh, sorry sediments of pus in the tubings of the urine bag so these were some of the uh, urine uh, colors that i could accumulate accumulate today for you all to know and uh, by reading uh, very frequently and <clears throat> regularly we can come across so many other types of colors of urine that will give us a hint mere by the look uh, of the urine in the wards or OPDs or operation theatres wherever. So for not for every disease you need to go and read deep but even by using our common sense and common clinical clear concepts we can uh, grossly make a diagnosis by a mere clinical appearance of the color of the urine. So I hope we all would go back again to our books, read more about the urine basics and uh, will, uh, which will help us uh, diagnose more and more patients clinically on daily basis. I hope you all would find this video uh, very useful. Thank you so much.